I'm ready. I was born ready. I'm going to die yeah. ready. Jesus. Welcome to Film Vets. I'm your host, Paul Dixon, and with me is my co-host for the time being. <laughs> Until he replaces me with, with a, like a piggy bank. Dan Young. Hey, there's more money in it. <laughs> no, <laughs> today it makes we're fun watch sounds the... when you shake it. <laughs> you do too. Move on. Move on. <laughs> We're going to watch the trailer for the new Black Panther Wakanda Forever movie that's coming out in November. I'm really excited about this. We saw the first trailer already, which was very moving and very exciting on so many levels because Ryan Coogler is coming back. Unfortunately, Chadwick Boseman is not coming back. It's going to be interesting to see how they deal with that. Uh, you ready, Dan? Ready like Freddy. Let's do it. broken people can be great leaders these people do not call him general or king they called him Kukul Khan, the feather serpent god, killing him will risk eternal war. He's coming for the surface world. We know what you whisper. to unpack here did did we see some stark tech there was there like the next generation of iron man that is a character called iron heart her name is really williams yes yes oh she my has God. Her own yeah she's got her own series coming and this is leading her into the disney plus series looks like she's creating her own armor like stark did she's going to be the new face of the iron man type of technology i think going forward that's gonna so, be awesome yeah it really sick stuff i think riri williams is supposed to be the smartest person in the marvel universe or one of the smartest people in these in the marvel universe besides say reed richards or professor xavier i'm really excited for her character finally making her debut especially in wakanda forever my god there's so much in this trailer what do you think of the 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 flying the wings on on his feet <laughs> now now that's that's namor's like fairy boots right yeah pretty much uh so those wings are, is, are is actually part canon? of his yeah he's the first mutant in the marvel universe technically he's different from other well in the comics atlanteans from what i understand if you're watching this and you need to correct me totally fine i'm going off of the top of my head right now put it in the but, comment uh, section put it in the comments below and tell me how <laughs> stupid i am no <laughs> I, I i know he has the wings in the comics on his legs or his ankles and and uh, I didn't know he could fly, though. That's interesting. They're kind of embracing that weirdness, you know, and still keeping it grounded in a way. So mm -hmm. I'm ex I'm excited for Namor a lot. I love that they're taking an angle of their Mayan culture and they're not really Atlanteans because, you know, they, they kind of did that with Aquaman. They don't want to repeat what DC's done. I think Namor is one of my favorite characters because he's kind of almost an anti-hero. He does heroic things when it comes down to it. But, I mean, this guy will start a flood and kill a bunch of people because he thinks it's the best thing for his people to respect <laughs> seriously that is not a good thing dan 
<laughs> you... It depends on which side of the flood you're sitting on. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, it, it was kind of reminds me of Magneto. He's not exactly a villain in the sense that what he's doing is for the good of his people. And right, I always, it, it, always thought that was great about Magneto. He's a, a villain driven by a noble cause. And I always thought that those were typically the most dangerous because they have something to believe in it's it's not about just ending the world or cleansing the world i'm gonna destroy this city more about trying to prosper protect find a moral balance between the needs of his many will outweigh the the needs of everyone else so <laughs> no i totally agree so I, and, I, I love it yeah and uh as far as the who the new black panther is now i think it's gonna be shiri which is fine i didn't really think she would be i i think i think the the other character uh nakia the one t'challa was in love with in the first movie i always mm-hmm. thought she would make a really great black panther but we'll see how oh, the story yeah. plays out uh it, it might be a misdirect it, it maybe there's a reason they haven't shown who the black panther is yet we know it's female but that's about it so we'll see i oh, heard yeah. a rumor I heard a little rumor. Oh, what's, little what's rumor. your rumor? A little birdie flew in. Told me about the fact that the villain, the true villain, is Dr. Doom. So so that birdie flew in and gave you bird flu. Seriously, Dr. Doom? Yeah, because it's sick. <laughs> there you go. Bring it full circle. Yeah. Here's the thing I, I think. If it's Dr. Doom, they probably haven't got a direct actor yet like they haven't got somebody in that role yet because that information probably would have been released by now if Mm. it is dr doom he's very much a low level you know on the on the deep deep level of people knowing so probably won't happen to have him walk in and be like i'm the villain i'm dr doom or something it'll be like who's victor von doom you know somebody looks on a piece of paper and it turns out to be him behind it all but we don't know who he is yet so we'll see i i don't know maybe marvel's found a way to keep that hidden that would be crazy if they did that i I don't know it's simple you just make him a mid-credit boss (laughs) i mean you could but it's still well, you know, they kept they kept the whole John Krasinski thing pretty low key, but the problem was it was still released before the movie. Between the release of the trailer and the release of the film, if some information comes out about who the actor is, then we'll know for sure. But right now, it's just a rumor that he'll be the true villain and not Namor, which makes sense because Namor's never really been a villain. We'll see. There's an awful lot in that trailer to to kind of work off of, but I think those are the the main points that I'm excited about the most. The the biggest thing that I want to know is if anyone else out there thinks that Dr. Doom might be the villain or or who is going to be the actual villain in this movie. Like, what does everybody think? Is it Galactus? Is it Sebastian the Crab from Little Mermaid? Who's going to be pulling the strings here? I would love it if Sebastian ends up being like Namor's best friend. How great would that be? I mean, it's a Disney property, you, so why you not? You can't attack the surface world! <laughs> Not doing that again, don't worry. Leave in the comments who you would cast as Dr. Doom because I have my ideas, but I really want to hear what your opinions are. Thank you for watching. I'm really excited for Black Panther. I hope you are too. What did you think of the trailer? Did it get you as hyped? It's not as great as the first trailer. I almost came to tears with the first trailer. This one's just kind of, yeah, it's it's coming. It's 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 beautiful beautiful homage to Chadwick Boseman. I I think that Absolutely. you know it's it's going to be big shoes to fill but they keep rolling through just like this movie's going to be a tribute and yeah. I know I'm going to cry at some point in this movie. Uh, the the funeral scene it's it's going to happen. Let us know what you think. Thank you for your service veterans and thank you for watching with me Dan. Yeah, thanks for watching with me. Before we go, I want to mention that we have a segment called Vet Spotlight where we showcase a celebrity vet veteran who is in the entertainment industry and whether they're behind the scenes or in front of the camera, we want to celebrate their commitment to their country and also the achievements they've made in the entertainment industry. Go check it out. We got Adam Driver. We got an upcoming episode of James Earl Jones. We got Mel Brooks. Uh, Go check it out. Why not? What are you doing? You got nothing to do. Go. Go. (laughs) Now. Thanks for watching. Go. See you next time.